We're going to lose his bracket. And we're going to see our only Ice Climbers player in this region. I believe his name is Kimidori. And, uh, ooh, an Endai again. This time staying as Sheik rather than the uh, cool little Pikachu. Anyway, now this matchup uh, is actually, I've heard, pretty bad for Sheik. Just simply because um, uh, Ice Climbers can get in, grab, and wobble. So we'll see what uh, Endai does to prevent big wobble. As wobbling is legal here. I think uh, what Endai really needs to do, he's going to need to get rid of that pink Ice Climber, Popo. No, sorry, Nana. Just so that he can prevent from being wobbled and then uh, focus completely on uh, Popo or Sobo. Oh, that's it. Uses the needle to get rid of uh, Nana. That was so smart. And now it's just the Sobo. Ooh, good forward smash from uh, Endai. What? Is that, is that a fan of it? Down throw. Reverse fair, and I off stage, back air, and that's it. Uh, and I takes the first stock off of Kimidori. Ooh, I like how he uses the needle so that he can get a free uh, fair as falling as he, as he approaches them. Ooh, another forward smash. I like. Oh, gets grabbed. Banana's too far away for a wobble. I like how Endai uh, kind of like goes in, gets a little, a really safe attack, and then immediately jumps out to prevent any grabs from the Ice Climbers. So I think that's something that's essential uh, for Sheik to do this matchup. And oh, um, unfortunate SD on Kimidori giving Endai a two stock lead. Forward smash from Kimidori. Ooh, gets the ice skewed. No punish though. And ooh, wow, fishing for all these down smashes. None of them really connecting though. Another down smash. Ooh, I'm not sure what that was, but that was a really good option because it got the first stock up from Endai. Ooh, good grab. You know, you don't really see many players grab ice climbers just because. Oh, that was weird. But anyway, you don't usually see many players grab the Ice Climbers just because it's usually difficult, and even when you get the grab, uh, the Ice Climbers could desync and then uh, punish you for grabbing them. But Endai seems to be doing a pretty good job grabbing them and getting combos out of it, so... Good for him. Anyway, stock lead uh, for Endai. Ooh, combo breaker from the forward smash from the Ice Climbers. Endai doing a really good job, just really spacing with needles and fares. Oh, and we got our grab. Oh, just barely drops it. Ooh, good wave dash down smash. Can he get this stock though? Yep, another down smash. We just gotta rinse and repeat if he wants to take this stock. Nice, holds on to the edge. And now we're one wobble away, actually. This, this could be anyone's game right now even with the 79% lead. And is Nana gonna be saved? No, Nana's out. We've got Sopo versus Sheik. It's a dash attack. Ooh, a lot of uh, missed wave dashes from Kimidori. Ooh, I like the dare from uh, Endai. And jab to Nair takes the last stock off of Kimidori, giving Endai game one. Alright, so I wonder where Kimidori is going to counterpick. Um. Pokemon? I think Pokemon makes sense. Why do you think that? He's got a lot of move, to, or a lot of room to move around, and that's really what Kimidori excels at. But he still has the platforms to escape if he needs to. That makes sense. Okay, Kimidori, kind of playing goofy. <laughs> Ooh, gets the grab. 
gets another grab. Are we gonna see a wobble? Oh, and he get he got it. he got his first wobble. That's the first stock. Kimidor with first time has a lead in this set. Kimidori in the lead now. Is that the first wobble we've seen of the set? Yes, that was the first wobble. So if he could just keeps that up, he could actually take this game. Honestly, that's a big momentum shifter because yeah. Just by Kimidori showing that he can throw out that wobble makes it so much scarier to approach him if you think there's any chance you're gonna get grabbed. It's just gonna make Endai be very careful approaching, making sure every option is safe where he can retreat without being grabbed. Kimidori extending his lead, just these little hits. Oh, Nana's in a bad position here. Oh, Nana's just chilling on the platform though. She's who gets the uh, punishes the down smash with the grab. Wow. That was really good. That was some bait right there. Yeah. And punish? Oh! Just a little too late. Uh, I don't know why that's glitching out. The, it's not affecting the players in any way. It's just uh, a weird glitch we're having with uh, my setup. It? Is it on the TV? It's not just the It's monitors? not the TV. It's, oh, just, okay. it's just the stream. Huh, interesting. So it's not affecting the players. Well, it doesn't seem to be happening too often, so... This is the first right. time I've ever had that happen. Really? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, Nana's gone. We got Sobo. Kimidori fishing with that down smash. Ooh, a lot of sidestepping from Kimidori. Ooh, that was really good. Wave got him. out of shield, punishes the misgraft from Sheik, and punishes with the down smash. Giving Sobo a nice lead. I wonder if he was trying to ledge cancel that dare. If so, that would be cool. Ooh, Kimidori, great recovery. <laughs> Interesting uh, follow up from yeah. it. And we are back at an even game with two stocks apiece. Whoa! Ooh, Ooh nice dare to down smash from Endai. Ooh, shield grabs the dash attack, gets the other grab, Ooh, gets another grab, and going for the chain grabs. Opts not to wobble there, and because of that, yeah, I don't, I don't think I agree with that. I get the stock. I think getting some chain grabs are, you know, definitely important just to make sure you have them. But then once you've got Nana in the exact spot, you should probably go for that wobble. And I with a good back air should be finishing off Nana here. Yeah. And Kimidori just content to let her die, hang out. Whoa. Tries to go in, decides probably not the best idea. Oh, wow, nice. Kimidori clips him. And, okay, Kimidori needs to work on a punishing Sheik's landing recoveries. He can get Endai off stage, but it's uh, keeping him off stage that uh, he needs to work on. Alright, Kimidori in a tough position right now. Ooh, gets a needle, gets another needle, gets a third needle. And he somehow makes it on stage. Okay. Ooh, good uh, wave dash back on stage. Gets another down smash. Alright, let's see if he can make sure he gets the stock. And he jabs him. Alright. Oh, oh great smash. up smash for Kimidori. It takes the lead over Endai. Wow, I've noticed that his Sopo is doing a really good job just extending the lead when his Nana dies. Oh, put a quick yeah. reversal and we're down to a last stock situation. Even game. Are we gonna see a game three? You know, you know he's looking for that wobble. Ooh, good down smash from Nana. Uh oh. All right, Endai's playing safe. Yeah, he's having to hang out and throw those needles to try to jump in. Yep. Another needle. Yeah, he just keeps needling from atop those platforms. Oh, that was a very questionable dash attack, but doesn't get punished for it. All right, we're gonna get the uh, another transformation. We're probably gonna see a little bit of camping. Yeah. Yeah, I'd be surprised to see either player truly go in here. Both have some interesting projectiles, of course, but I don't think they're gonna completely go in. Nice time, it's freaking out. They're becoming one. Okay. Oh, it's a clips him with the little ice. All right, this is silly. Oh, and I might go in. Oh, and I goes in. <laughs> oh, almost gets that grab. 
Oh, oh gets the grab. Can he get the follow up? Oh, he reads it, but. Uh, he's, uh, Whoa, good power shield for Timmy Dory. This is so close. Whoa. Oh, another power shield. Uh, wow, down to the end. Timmy Dory takes game two over Endai. Clutch. And with only one wobble, that was pretty impressive. This would be considered a pretty big upset, I think, if Kimi really? Dory were to take out Endai. I haven't seen Endai. Is this like his first time here? Or uh, he's, he's from Western while. Washington. Okay. Yeah, whole Western Washington crew came down. So we have a really stacked bracket right now. Ooh, so where do you think Endai's going to counterpick now? now that somewhere small. It? Somewhere small? Yoshi's maybe? Ooh, Fountain. Actually, with the way he's been using needles, I wouldn't be surprised if he went to a big stage, but... All right, we're going to see Fountain. Here we okay. go. Kimidori. Wow! Oh, oh Nana drops through the platform. That was it, That would have been the fastest wobble <laughs> ever. That would have been amazing. But uh, Kimidori has stage control right now. Kimidori gets in with a grab. Yep. Wow. Interesting. Was, I think that was a dash attack from Nana to pop up uh, Endai there. Yeah. Oh Dude. no. Ooh. Nice and I, no it. capitalization there. Oh, it reads the roll in. And I just poking with these jabs, getting the ice counters to kind of pop up and seeing if he can follow up with either like a fair or up air. And Man. that was really good. Kimidori. Yeah. If he wins this, it'll be, I think, the farthest he's ever gone in a melee tournament at Black Wolf at one of the most stacked tournaments that we've had so far. Great oh. reverse forward air there from Endai to clean up the stock. This is just such an even set. It's going to really come down to who can really clutch it. And if he can get those grabs. A forward grab. Ooh, Endai applying a lot of yep. pressure. Kimi Dori. <laughs> Ice Climbers ah. off stage, gets the needles. Somehow they're both safe though. Back okay. on stage, even Nana. Yeah, and I'm showing that he's maybe not quite sure how to get those edge guards yeah. against the Ice Climbers. It's, you know, there's not that many Ice Climbers, especially in this region, so it, kinda, it might make sense if he doesn't have that much matchup experience. But Endai does have a nice stock lead right now. Oh, that could have been Wow, scared. Yeah. No follow up from Kimi Dori. Ooh, good fair. Oh, wow. Gets the second of that forward smash. Oh, I'm surprised he didn't get that grab. Just I know. a little too late. He had the right idea. Just wave dashed in, but just barely off. And I doing a really good job. Just kind of spacing out with dares, and then when he lands on the ground, we'll down smash, keeping the ice climbers off stage. Yeah, and I's adjusted really well since game two. He's starting to run away with the match. Yeah. Kimi Dory just having a difficult time getting what he needs to do to secure a stock. This is probably a good counter pick, uh, stage two. Oh, nice ice to clip him, but uh, still makes it back on the edge. Kimidori is just so reliant on that grab. Yeah, he it's been, he needs the grabs. Although, to be fair, he won the last game with only getting one wobble, so can do it. But yeah, he needs the grabs at this point. Oh, good down smash. All right. This is Ice Climbers. This is Ice Climbers. He is not out yet. Even this Nana's, is looking scary for Kimidori, though. <laughs> if, although, Nana is still here, so that, that opens up options. Oh, does he? Oh, no, he gets him off stage. I wonder if he's been choosing to not go for the wobble, or has he been making? I want to say that was errors. a missed input. Okay. Yeah, I would. I would think it would be more of a technical thing. A lot of light shields. Both players. Ooh, crouch control down smash. Bad position. Nana. Good fade back from Kimidori, but that's gonna be it. Endai takes it two one over Kimidori. Advancing to the winner's sem or the loser's semifinal. Uh, I believe up next we have Jamantos and Artifice.